Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view button click using the CSAP code. So we'll be using uh, CSAP to get this uh, feature implemented that is a button whenever it's clicked then it extracts out the name, address or anything uh, that is inside the specific object. So here you can see I have uh, got uh, here as an uh, uh, name but you can uh, take out uh, the ID, address or anything as you like. So here uh, this is the continuation of my previous video that is our uh, tutorial number 28 in my playlist so you can just take it out that is dotted maui collection view item selection and navigation so how uh, the item selection that is our uh, collection view item selection works and the navigation using the cell so you can take the source code from there and then uh, what i'll actually do is a very basic uh, step and of a uh, quick way so to do, to make you understand what actually i have changed in this code so here uh, you can see over here uh, i have uh, my main page dot uh, xaml which has no nothing in that included in it so here um, we actually have two things right so in our previous tutorial also i have so told you this is the entry which is placed at grid row zero this is the uh, collection view okay that is placed at grid column one so here you can see grid row zero and grid row one which is uh, placed inside the uh, like uh, inside the grid okay so this is the whole is a grid and grid dot row zero grid dot row one and then uh, grid dot row one we'll just not discuss about the entry as of now because in our previous tutorial i have already done it and you don't need to implement that anyway okay so uh, the collection view is binded with the user item from the view model okay so view model is the source uh, provider and you uh, and i have already discussed in our previous video and uh, i'll just show it to you how our uh, I'll just uh, comment this thing because we don't want anything inside the entry as of now to be discussed so quickly I'll just go towards the view model so here uh, I have got the uh, user items so you can see uh, the user item is a observable collection of a specific model class so this model has uh, I name and like uh, a properties as name address and you can just put as uh, integer space ID over here too so it depends upon your use cases and uh, here you can see this is the user item that will be using it inside here to load the data and which is being called by the this view model okay so this is being called by this view model i'll just close that main page.xaml anyway so the main grid is going to be called so this is the only the ui uh, part okay uh, quick refer uh, quick overview so we'll not talk about my entry and i'll just show it to you how it really looks like but uh, uh, we are not going to discuss about my entry because uh, we don't want it over here so here actually we need uh, only one thing to understand okay the same thing uh, like we have already implemented in xaml code too so what we actually do is here also inside the uh, like selection mode is single you have already discussed about selection mode selection changed okay so that is whole uh, list selection as well as selection change that uh, we have already discussed now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to create a main grid I'm separating it to the two parts okay that is uh, star comma star that is uh, uh, a vertical stack layout which will encapsulate uh, the label as name and address so name and the address uh, is the vertical stack layout okay so I have given a vertical spacing of 10 that is recently implemented and it keeps a uh, recent spacing you can see okay so that is an additional thing anyway so here vertical stack layout will encapsulate to name as well as the address and the grid dot column one is the button so we are going to take the vertical stack layout as a parent okay so we'll just uh, add a vertical stack layout with uh, both the children okay so which will be placed at grid dot column zero you can see over here grid dot column zero will be over here and grid dot column one is the button so grid dot column one see here over here the okay, grid dot column one is the button now what happens is like whenever that button is clicked same as like how xaml was implemented uh, uh perform command operation that is like uh, this is the method that we have done it in view model but here in this code itself we can do it so perform command operation is going to call this method okay over here itself so that is nice and easy right so um, here uh, the perform command operation uh, is going to call and we can extract out the object 
properties from here like uh, if it was made with my model or uh, the model collection of items same class need to be used so you can see over here this is my model class uh, and uh, we have created a list of item of that same class okay so same class is need to be used to extract out a specific object whenever the button is clicked so the same thing you need to focus on that okay so this model class is the same class that need to be uh, used uh, which was uh, used during uh, during the time of loading the data so the selected item will contain all the properties uh, of that specific um, uh, cell object so here that is done so that is a really really easy way and now uh, the button is need to be uh, added with the binding uh, and uh, it has a command property of dot that is how the, the same thing we have implemented in our xaml2 that is uh, binding dot as a command property so same thing uh, goes over here to the button to as command property and we can use dot or we can just uh, send the name and extract out obj as string string only and then get the name only okay it depends upon your use cases and uh, here i have just used dot so that we can extract out all the things of that specific object so that is it so that is the whole implementation of uh, this uh, button uh, click in our collection view so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in notes for our next tutorials